Since I finished talking about the 12 patrons and now that I've done an explanation on the Insecta race, I think it's time to finish out the leftover characters found in the Tempest Federation. So let's start off with a character that I should have done a long time ago, the Insect Queen Apito, and she has definitely come a long way since her introduction in the series. That's why in today's video, we'll be going over her character, powers and abilities to find out just how powerful she really is. It goes without saying that there will be spoilers for Apito's character, so here's a spoiler warning just in case. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more Tensra content in the future. <laughs> To start, Apito belonged to the Insecta race, a powerful race of insect-type monsters that resided in the other world along with the cryptics and phantoms. They are part of the army wasp species, one of the most dangerous species of insect-based monsters. They are normally around 30cm in length, and just a single army wasp already has a threat level of a special A or calamity class. To give you an idea of how dangerous they are, when just one army wasp is discovered in the western nations, it will be considered a high-level emergency requiring a battalion of at least rank A paladins from the western holy church to deal with the threat or in the case of a swarm of army wasps, a large army is needed just to handle them. Normally how they would deal with the army wasps is to first deploy a holy and anti-magic barrier to weaken the army wasps, but even with the precautions, the subjugation force sand will still suffer immense casualties. Now what makes army wasps dangerous is mainly because of their ability to fly at supersonic speeds and perform irregular high-speed maneuvers that a normal human would not even be able to detect. Also, they are able to sense the slightest movements of beings within their vicinity, so escape is almost impossible unless you are a powerful being yourself and all their attacks carry a poisonous toxin. And if the army wasps has a queen to lead them, any human nations would almost always be fucked because with a queen, their threat levels will easily jump to that of a disaster class, requiring even the 10 great saints to intervene. Apito just so happens to be a queen army wasp as well, meaning she has the ability to control and summon army wasp soldiers to do a bidding, making her a truly terrifying monster. Having said that, Apito likely made it to the main Tensura world along with Zagion around the time before Rimuru had reincarnated as a slime and they would eventually find their way to the Great Jura Forest. In the forest, Apito was injured by a blade tiger and Zagion tried his best to protect her, eventually killing the monster but his injury was so severe that he was on the verge of death. Luckily for them, Rimuru was strolling around the forest when he encountered them. He wanted to help them but Zagion was quite cautious and hostile towards him. However, Rimuru managed to convince them that he's friendly so he quickly used some healing potions on them and even provided some of his own slime cells to heal their injured bodies. As for their exoskeleton, because they were broken, Rimuru had to use some processed magic steel to replace the missing parts. After they fully healed, Rimuru even gave the both of them names and as a side effect of consuming his slime cells, Apita and Zagion indirectly became part of the Tempest family line. This means that other than Valdora, they are Rimuru's second closest family. Anyways, both of them were given new jobs to do. Apito and her army war soldiers will be responsible for collecting the nectar of the flowers around the Trian village while Zagion handled the protection and security for the village. On a side note, it was lucky that Rimuru managed to meet Apito and Zagion beforehand because when Milim came to visit Tempus, they would have been easily crushed by her and Rimuru was only able to stop her thanks to the honey that Apito had provided for him. So in a way, Apito indirectly helped to save Tempus and allow Rimuru to form a friendship with Milim. Apito would continue to supply Tempus with honey until the period where Remorus had created her new labyrinth and because they were looking for candidates to take care of the forest in the 95th floor, Rimuru decided to let Apito handle the job. So she moved into the labyrinth where she would work in the 95th floor forest to to cultivate honey. Now, Rimuru only intended to have Apito work in the 95th floor, but she was quite keen on fighting in the labyrinth as well, so she was later put on as the floor boss of the 79th floor. Eventually, after spending some time in the labyrinth training with Valdora and Zagion, while in addition to absorbing the magic cues released by Valdora, Apito managed to evolve and acquire her humanoid form. When Hinata Sakaguchi came to test out the labyrinth, she managed to blaze through all the floors. When she reached Apito's floor, although Apito's newly evolved form granted her immense speed and agility, her lack of fighting experience caused her to lose to Hinata. However, she continued training and she even asked Hinata to be a teacher. Later, when the 10 Great Saints came to try out the labyrinth, they easily broke through the previous floors, but when they reached Apito's floor, they were outmatched thanks to the training she received from Hinata and Zagion. When the labyrinth officially opened, Apito would be given the official title of Insect Queen, making her one of the 10 laws of the labyrinth. During her time in the labyrinth, Apito actually formed a friendly rivalry with Kumara and they would constantly compete and fight each other to see who's better. I think it's likely because of their insecta and cryptic instincts kicking in that caused this but they are still good frenemies. 
When the Eastern Empire invaded Tempest, the Labyrinth Lords were responsible for welcoming the Imperial soldiers, so Apito prepared to meet with the enemies. When the Imperial soldiers arrived on Apito's floor, they were met with a beautiful field of flowers, but sadly, this would become their resting place. They summoned a thousand army war soldiers to attack the Imperial soldiers, and in less than 10 minutes, all the soldiers were dead. Later, when only the strongest officers of the Imperial army were left, Rimuru had Remorous separate them to face each of the Labyrinth Lords, so for Apito, her opponent was the Major General Minute of the Armor Corps. Before Apito faced him, she sent out numerous army war soldiers to gauge the ability of Minute, but he easily sorted away the soldiers with his unique skill suppressor. The ability to manipulate gravitational and reaction forces, he can basically fire directional blasts of gravity that can cause the target to burst or compress. A downside of his ability is that they can only be fired through sight and it isn't as effective on opponents with durable bodies and if the opponent fires an opposing wave to hit his own, the effect can be cancelled. Now because Minute killed numerous of her soldiers, Apito became enraged by this so she decided to step in herself. Thanks to the training she received from Hinata, her better senses and movements were now sharper. She even took time to analyze her opponent and retreated to the throne room to give herself more advantage. However, she underestimated the range of Minute's ability so she was caught inside one of his gravitational field and he managed to crush her body. But as he got closer to Apito, she used her wings to release a powerful wind blade to attack him, giving her the opening to escape from the gravitational field. Minute then proceeded to create a defensive force field around him, looking to counter Apito's attacks and catch her if she got close. Apito continued to fly at supersonic speed to avoid his vision while firing off different attacks like poison needles, wind blades, and even summoning what leftover soldiers she had to find weaknesses in his force field. The battle eventually became a war of attrition, but in the end, both went for the killing blow. Apito went in for a suicide attack, getting herself caught inside his force field, and as he was crushing a body, she fired the Queen of Needle, a powerful physical attack to pierce through his force field and heart. Both fell, but it was Apito who disappeared while Minute was still barely alive, so she lost the battle. Don't worry, although Apito lost, he will meet a fate worse than death when he faces Zagion later on. After the first wave of the Eastern Empire attack was stopped, Rimu held a reward ceremony to commemorate their victory but Apito was not eligible to awaken as a true demon lord. However, because Zagion did evolve into a true demon lord, Apito was able to receive the blessings from his evolution. Additionally, she also asked Rimuru to transfer the souls of her fallen soldiers into her because later she would use the souls to transform her old body into a stronger one more suited for combat. When the reward ceremony ended, she and Zagion went back to the labyrinth to finish their evolution. During the second Eastern Empire attack, she did not take part in the battle as she was still in her evolutionary sleep, but she did awaken when Dino had betrayed Tempest and joined Phantom King Feltway. Dino was tasked with the capture of Ramirez, but he was stopped by Beretta and the newly awakened Apito. Although they were weaker than Dino, they still managed to drag the battle out, with Apito using her battle sensors and speed to constantly pressure Dino while Beretta focused on supporting her. They were putting up a good fight, but they were eventually overpowered by Dino, but they did buy enough time for Zagion to awaken and he was able to force Dino to retreat. After Phantom King Feltway and his forces retreated from Tempest, Rimuru had interviewed all of his subordinates to find out about their abilities. For Apito, she possesses a unique skill called Queen Worship which allows her to devour the biological characteristics of any insects and she is able to create powerful insect type monsters with the corresponding characteristics using the subskill Insect Demon Birth. With this ability, she is able to create 9 insect margins or as she likes to call them, her children. But they are currently in the chrysalis stage so we still don't know much about them. What we do know is that Rimuru named all 9 of her children and their names are Reichi, Reini, Reisan, Reion, Reigo, Reiroku, Reinana, Reihachi and Reikyu. I'm sorry if I butchered their names. But that wasn't all because Rimuru also offered her the choice of evolving into a commander or hero type insecta. A commander type meant that she would still retain her ability to summon insect soldiers and command them from behind, while a hero type meant that she loses her ability to summon insect monsters but her physical ability and skills will be greatly enhanced. Apito decided to pick the latter because she already passed down her insect demon birth ability to her children so she doesn't have any worry about creating new soldiers. With that, still performed the skill alteration, causing Apito's unique skill to evolve into the ultimate gift Queen Possession Proserpina and like I said, because she wanted to become a hero type, her sub-skill Insect Demon Birth was removed. As for the sub-skills this ultimate gift has, we have a total of 9 sub-skills starting with the basic ones like Thought Acceleration, Magic Sense, Ultra Acceleration, Ultra Instinct, Spatial Manipulation and Multi-Layer Barrier. There are 3 distinct or new sub-skills and the first one is Little Attack which allows her to imbue her attacks with different deadly effects like Poison. Military Command is another one and this this essentially works like Benumaru's Generalissimo, granting her the ability to become an effective leader. The last of the sub-skill is called Demon Insect Domination, and this allows the manipulation of her subordinates to ensure they follow orders and stay in formation during combat. So with her ultimate gift, Queen Possession Proserpina, Apito has managed to acquire a threat level of a disaster class, and her existence value is at around 775,000.
Anyways, that's everything on Apito so far, and during Phantom King Feltway's attack on the world, she along with Zagion was ordered to stay behind to protect Tempus and the Labyrinth. Nevertheless, I think like Rimuru said, Apito's value as a soldier comes second, while her most important role is the production of honey, so that's why we don't really see her participating or do well in battles. But I think we'll get to see her do some fighting in the upcoming volumes, and hopefully we'll see how powerful her children are as well. So what are your thoughts on Apito, the insect queen of the labyrinth, and do you think that she will face another insect in the future? Feel free to leave a comment down below, I would love to see them. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hitting that notification bell to stay up to date with my, all my content.